Hello and welcome to the Hawker Help Desk. I'm Kelly Royer with American Business Development Group, representing Intersys, the manufacturer of Hawker batteries. In this episode, I want to talk to you about the labels and markings on a Hawker Armasafe Plus 60 AGM battery. Now, while most folks just simply call this the Hawker battery, it's actually the Armasafe Plus. In fact, there are many different models of Hawker batteries that can be found in everything from construction equipment, forklifts, military vehicles and generators, as well as aircraft. Now, on the front label, there's some very important information. The first item is the National Stock Number, or NSN. That's the number that's used when ordering through the military supply system. Below that, we list the battery type, which is 6T AGM. Now, 6T is the standard NATO size for military wheeled and tracked vehicles. And AGM is just simply the technology absorbed glass mat. Below that, we list the manufacturer's product number or part number for the Armasafe Plus battery. Below that is the manufacturer's unique cage code or commercial and government entity code. Now, both the cage code and the product number can be used to order through the federal supply system when ordering by NSN is not feasible. Below that, we list that this is a 12 volt battery, but that's in name only. In fact, the Hawker Armasafe Plus battery is considered topped off when it's at 12.9 volts. Below that is the contract number. More importantly, is the date of manufacture. How do you read that code? Well, the first two digits represent the month, the next two digits represent the year, and everything past the dash completes the lot number. In the section below that, we list the minimum requirements per Military Performance Standard, or MILPERF, 32143. In this section, we want to focus on the cold cranking amps. Well, what are cold cranking amps? Well, cold cranking amps are the amount of amps that a 12-volt battery can deliver at 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 18 C, for at least 30 seconds while still maintaining at least 7.2 volts in the battery. That figure here is 1100. Now again, those are the minimum requirements per the military performance standard. However, when we manufactured the battery, we actually designed it to provide you with at least 1225 cold cranking amps when new. In the next section, we note that this is a non-spillable battery, that in accordance with various air and ground transport regulations, this battery is actually considered non-hazardous for shipping when it's securely packaged and prevented from short-circuiting. Now, the label on the side simply just indicates the battery type. Again, 6T AGM. Now on the top of the battery, the first thing that you should notice are the terminal covers. Red is for positive, black is for negative, and they actually indicate that on the cap. It also indicates positive and negative at the top of the terminal as well as beside the terminals. And the positive terminal has a big red circle around it. Also, the diameter of the negative terminal is 5 8 whereas the positive terminal is slightly larger at 11 16 And if you look at the side of the post, you'll see that the positive terminal has two thin bands around it and the negative terminal has one big thick band. And there's also one more way, especially during low light and no light conditions. You see, all 6T batteries have a ridge right there by the positive terminal. So if you can identify the positive, you can then easily identify the negative. Now, right next to the negative terminal, we have a big yellow sticker. This is to indicate that the battery is recoverable. Yes, you can recharge the battery. Now, the military expects to get about three years life out of this minimum. We actually designed it, though, to provide at least four and a half years of duty under military use. In fact, I've seen them in service eight and a half years later. Also listed is the U.S. Army's technical bulletin for care and maintenance of AGM-style batteries. Now, here's a spot where you can actually write in the installation date, but that's actually what this sticker is for. You simply pluck out the month and the year of installation. So what could I use that for? Well, if you ever take the battery out, say to recharge it, and then you go to reinstall it, you can simply write the reinstall date there. Now, after you've tested this battery and then attempted recharge and then tested it again, if it fails to meet the minimum requirements, simply put a check mark there, and now you know it's time to dispose of the battery. Now, the next label is the information and warning label. So as you can see, this battery is recyclable. In fact, up to 97% of this battery is completely recyclable, so we shouldn't be throwing it in the trash. Below that, that symbol indicates that you should keep sparks, flames, and cigarettes away from the battery, especially when charging it, since lead-acid batteries can emit hydrogen or hydrogen sulfide gas, which can be explosive. Now, you want to keep children away from the battery. Obviously, the battery weighs 88 pounds. 
plus it stores electricity. Below that you see a vial being broken above a hand. That's to indicate that there's corrosive material in the battery. That corrosive material is sulfuric acid. And the next symbol indicates that you should wear the appropriate PPE or personal protective equipment, especially when charging the battery. Below that is just a standard caution symbol. Now, make sure that you're following the appropriate technical manual and or technical bulletin for the care, maintenance, and storage of the battery. Below that, there's a lightning bolt to remind you to be cautious not to accidentally short circuit the battery, say by dropping a wrench across the top. Now, moving down to the Hawker label, we again place the national stock number as well as the individual product number and each Hawker Armasafe Plus 60 AGM battery comes with its own serial number. So you can actually track that battery through its life cycle. And if you scan the QR code, it reports that serial number. And then again, below that, we put the date of manufacture. If you have any questions or any other battery related issue, please visit us at hawkerbattery.com. While there, check out our one page quarterly newsletter called Hawker Headlines as well as our complete Hawker Help Desk training series in the Video Vault. Of course, you can always reach us on the Hawker Hotline at 877-485-1472.